Hey everyone, about a year ago there was some backlash uh, of people who were angry that Craigslist had started to charge a fee to post in a number of sections, including the gig section. I actually kind of like that fee because it uh, weeded out a lot of nonsense posting in the gig section. Um, I find I have a lot less competition there as a result. Uh, but there is one additional change of I wish Craigslist would do. Uh, one of the big problems of Craigslist is that you never know when you can move on from a, a, a posting. If you email somebody, it's a lot of times they don't say no thanks, they just don't reply at all. Sometimes you can even send two or three emails and they don't reply at all. Um, the, the way this will manifest is, um, let's say I'm looking for an apartment, and I really like this one, but I have other fallback options, but I really like this one. I, uh, I really don't want to go with the fallback options until I hear a definite no on the first one. That can get really tricky fast. Um, it's really nice that I love living in my car, so I always have time to uh, wait for these things uh, and stay in my car while that's going on. Sometimes, um... With some of my existing clients, a big tricky part, uh, a big tr tr uh, tricky aspect is I'm trying to plan a vacation of some sort or maybe a conference, and I'd really like to hear uh, what timeline these people were working with so that I could avoid missing too many appointments. And uh, they just don't respond. They, could, they, 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 they're very indecisive or something like that. So my solution to Craigslist, and I know this is going to sound very novel and um, very, um, very uh, unintelligent, but I think no, a lot of novel ideas are like this. You know, I wish Craigslist had a reward for every email you exchanged over Craigslist. Let's say I, I email somebody to look for the apartment, and they email me back and say no thanks. If Craigslist could give both of us like 10 cents to incentivize people to actually discuss, you know, well, as long as it's not nonsense, they should have some kind of filter to make sure that it's not junk mail. But as long as it's business related, now that's the tricky part, how you do the AI to determine if the email is legitimate or not. Um, even if it's no thanks, even if it's of can we meet, you know, two weeks from now, whatever the case is, there should be a minor reward, like maybe 10 cents or 20 cents. Now, um, a lot of people will think, well, that's not a whole lot of money. I don't think it will make a lot of difference. But I think a lot of humans are hardwired to not want to leave money on the table. I know I am. Like when I go uh, with my credit card rewards or, um, you know, when I see two cents on the floor, I, I normally pick it up. I think I'm just hardwired to not leave money on the table. Are there people who are not hard, hardwired like that? Sure, there probably are. But I see a lot of wealthy people who pick up ten cents on the floor. Well, uh, for me, it's it's more because I collect coins and I want to see if there's a rare penny in there. I have a funny story. When I was 16 years old, my family and I went on vacation in, in Vancouver, B.C. And one day we were out on our way to lunch when I saw a very dirty penny on the floor. And I picked it up because I wanted to check if it was a rare coin. And it wasn't. It was so dirty, I didn't even want to put it in my pocket. I threw it back on the floor. And um, and then I got really worried about my hands being dirty. I used to have a little OCD with my hand washing. Not a full-blown OCD, but I would wash my hands a little bit more often than your average person. And this is being Vancouver, it's very difficult to find a bathroom that uh, business will let you use. And I got very upset about that. Okay, and then a couple days later... We went to another restaurant, and I saw another penny on the floor, and I really tried to resist picking it up, because I learned my lesson two days ago. I really resisted, but then I started to daydream that what if it's a rare penny, and I could go retire and work on my favorite math problem. I used to love this math problem called Ramsey Theory, and I really, really wanted to retire early in life to work on it, and I started to daydream about that, and I picked up the penny. It wasn't rare. I threw it back on the ground again. And then I, I started to worry about my hands. So I think I think we're all hardwired to not want to leave money on the table. And I think this can be this can be uh, used to a great advantage uh, for uh, Craigslist. I know how frustrating it was this week because I wanted this deal, but I had other fallback deals, and I just wanted an answer, even if it was no. Thanks for watching.